वेलकम टू अवर चैनल माई नेम इज अनाजीत एंड वी आर ट्रेवल एंड फूड ब्लॉगर्स सो वी जस्ट अराइव एट थ्रीम टूडे मॉर्निंग एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव लंच एंड देन एक्सप्लोर करेंगे गुड बीच वी आर योर After checking into our hotel and getting fresh, we headed out for some lunch and we had a great afternoon meal at this cafe. To watch more about all the food that we had on our Goa trip, do watch our Goa food blog and the link to it is given in one of the corners of this video. So after having a lazy and relaxing lunch at this cafe we headed out towards the beach Hi guys so we just had our lunch and now we are heading towards the beach the beach is just 2 minutes walkable distance away from our uh, place of stay We stayed in a guest house named Casa Brasen which is very closer to the less crowded part of Kalangoot beach Hi guys so right now we are at beach and we are now going to spend some time over here of Kalangoot beach is super crowded so we chose a patch of the beach that is comparatively less crowded and much better Today's plan is to visit the church and the fort. और उसके लिए हम लोग ने स्कूटीज हायर किए हैं सो वी आर वेटिंग फॉर इट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द टाउन ऑन अ टू व्हीलर एंड वी होप यू फाइंड सम गुड फूड बिकॉज वी हैव पिक्ड फ्यू रेस्टोरेंट्स लेट्स सी सो दिस इज द गेस्ट हाउस वेयर वी स्टेड एंड एज यू कैन सी इट्स वेरी क्लोज टू कलंगूट बीच We decided to roam around Goa on two wheelers because they are one of the best and cheapest means of transport to explore Goa. Renting a scooter in Goa will cost around rupees 300 to 400 only and not only it is cheap but it's also a very liberating way to explore the city. along with its lighthouse is a 17th century portuguese fort which is built over the sinquarium beach in goa and it took us around an hour to reach here from kalangoot out a beautiful monument but what mesmerized us even more was the surreal view of the ocean from the fort
Baga Beach right now. Our friends have gone to visit the church and we have decided to visit Baga Beach instead because we wanted to have some good food. And um, so we, we are, are going in Brittos. Yeah, Brittos is a very popular place in Goa. Uh, and we are going to have some good food over there. Let's see. So we parked our scooty at a parking lot near the Baga Beach and went on to have some lunch at Brittos, which is a popular cafe at Baga Beach. It's a very chilled out place and at the same time very crowded and you get a nice view of the ocean from here. We had a wholesome seafood platter at Brittos and it was really good and to know more about it do watch our Goa food vlog. अभी अभी हमारा खाना हुआ है फूड वॉज रियली टेस्टी एंड अमेजिंग आपको बहुत सारी वराइटी यहाँ पे खाने को मिलेगी हम लोग ने ऑर्डर किया था सी फूड प्लेटर आई थिंक वी आर गोइंग टू स्पेंड आर इवनिंग टू डे योर एट बागा बीच एंड एक्सप्लोर दिस प्लेस इट्स डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कलम गुड Since we entered the Baga Beach from the main area, this place was very crowded. There were a lot of people who were indulging in many water sports, and you can easily recognize Baga Beach from this sign where we clicked a lot of pictures. Please note that this video is in no way a tour guide of what to do in Goa for three days. This was just a relaxing vacation with some of our closest friends and our main goal was to just relax and enjoy with each other. On our third and last night in Goa, we enjoyed a superb dinner at this restaurant and then later on headed towards the Saturday night bazaar which is held in Arpora. The market had both cheap and expensive products that were sold by merchants from all over the country. So guys that was all about our short trip to Goa and this trip was less about ticking off the things to do and places to visit and more about spending a chill time with our friends so if you loved this video then do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit the bell notification and stay tuned for more and more food and travel vlogs and we'll see you in the next vlog goodbye